<clears throat> so we'll move on to Dr. Guy Ferno. <clears throat> Dr. Ferno was awarded for his continued expansion in the face of all that was happening in New York with the shutdowns. He has added three new services and tripled the size of his practice with a new facility boasting 2,500 square feet. Every single month shows growth and, is he, and he is steadily uptrending. He is doing so well that he, that he hasn't qualified for the past PPP loans that were being given because he had no loss. During the pandemic, no staff were laid off and only added two. Dr. Ferno is a UNS teacher and offered to make himself available whenever needed, even with his busy schedule. He strongly believes in what he does and stays true to his purpose, which includes helping his community as much as he can through nutrition response testing. Thank you, Guy, and very well done. I'm proud to give you that award. Thanks, Brad. Um, you know, I have to say that that thank you to all the UNS staff and so forth, because really it, it and everything that Freddie has done that gave us the tools to withstand everything. You know, New York, New York was a real, um, I don't want to say what I want to say, but a, but a SHI hole um, with everything that was going on, you know, it was one of the most draconian next to California states in, in the uh, nation. And we had a lot of problems. Um, you know, it was funny because we started noticing when all the COVID stuff was coming out, January, February, March, we were in a, in a very, very strong uptrend. Um, and then when we looked back, when all the COVID stuff was coming out, we realized that, hey, you know, we were seeing all these patients from November, December, and January uh, that were coming in with uh, flu-like symptoms, but nobody tested for the flu, and they all had a weird cough, and, you know, we just kind of handled it all, and we were looking back. Pretty much, we, we really didn't have too many patients, existing patients that came down with COVID. The ones that did, we just took care of on a regular basis. We never shut down the office. We always stayed open. We did see a drop off in April when everything just got really crazy here and everything was locked down. Um, but then it just kind of kept trending back upwards from there. You know, we still saw, I think, 15% growth over the course of the year, despite everything that was going on. You know, the key thing that we tried to do was really just remain a stable point um, and assuring the patients and assuring the patient database and so forth and just giving them information, not getting excited, not getting crazy. You know, we'd have patients coming in all the time going, oh, what should I take? What should I, should I take this? Should I take that? We didn't upsell them on anything. We just said, listen, just keep doing what you're doing. If you start to get under the weather, come in and we'll just handle whatever happens. You know, continue doing the things that we've been teaching you the whole time. So, you know, that's worked pretty well. We're, we're probably on lines to go up another 20% this year, uh, the way things have been going. Uh, I have a great staff. You know, they, they stuck through everything from, from the beginning. Uh, they've been there the whole time, thankfully. Um, none of the staff has, has come down with anything along those lines other than, you know, there's various things that have been hitting people we've been noticing. Um, so they're fighting certain things off, but everybody's doing well. You know, and, and the main point was just being that voice of reason with all the insanity going on and all the false information that was going out. So we just tried to maintain that and then keep on going. So thank you. Um, you know, we're here and we just keep plugging away. I probably need to do more social media stuff and I need to do my uh, lectures and everything else. Pretty much we haven't really been doing every, anything other than internal marketing and just referral base. So. It's all out there. Just keep keep up the good work. You know, there's nobody else doing what we're doing. And, and that's the reality. Nobody else has the technology for what we're actually doing. And don't get too crazy. That's the only thing I can say is don't get too crazy with constantly looking for something else or constantly looking for the for the, the main thing. You know, it's those basics that handle pretty much everything in ma the majority of the cases. And then every now and then you have to start looking deeper into something else but just stay with the basics with what you have already. The tools that you have are so amazing that nothing else compares. So thank you, Brad, you're doing a great job. Thanks Guy, I appreciate that. <clears throat> now, the guy said it best, stick to your basics. Um, that's the thing I'm still hearing from around the country. Yes, we're seeing a lot of people with COVID or post COVID or the jab, post jab, but the thing I consistently hear the same is they're just doing the usual. The lock muscle, blocking and switching, priority organs, five stressors. 
and that's still going to catch the vast majority of your people. So hang in there, guys. You're, you're doing a wonderful job. If you know the basics, those 13 steps, you know, from finding the lock muscle through dosing the product, you're going to get a lot of people well. You're going to be helping these people. Yes, we're teaching you some additional supplements you can use to protect yourself, to protect your family and your friends and your community, but it still boils down to the basics. But so far, every time that somebody brings me a patient that's not doing well, and you heard Freddie say this in, in his LaGuardia video, the tough cases were all handled by just doing the usual 13 steps and then you get the addition of additional product lines, additional deeper blocking and regulation, or blocking and switching, I'm sorry. And the other things we teach you about the hidden organs, the two-pointing and the resonance testing, those will pick up that, that other percentage that you're not helping, but the, the big percentage is just going to be doing the usual. And then when you get frustrated, just contact me on the clinical email line and I can walk you through a lot of things. So thank you, Guy, for reminding me of that. It's something I've been wanting to talk about when I had a lot of you here to talk to about. You're welcome.